good mix of veg as well as non-veg items i will cook for dinner instead it makes anyone and me to be a lot of green the only thing kylie and i have in common is that it is so fitting that on the day that i'm eating like kylie jenner for the day i just posted my skims haul Welcome to this video. It's the first time I'm ever doing one of these food videos where today, as the title may have already told you, I, Anam C, am going to be eating like a Miss Kylie Jenner. Now, one thing about Kylie Jenner is that you can love her, you can hate her, but you pretty much can't ignore her. I have multiple thoughts on her on a personal level, especially because of the kind of beauty standards and some of the decisions she's made in life. At some points, I've agreed with certain things and at some points, I've disagreed with them. But like I said, agree disagree you can't ignore today however we're just gonna focus on what she's eating and we're not gonna get into everything else the only thing kylie and i have in common is that we have beauty brands of our own so let's get that out there for verified inshallah someday i'd like to be at the scale of kylie cosmetics while maintaining what we do though like i like our signature style i like what we do as a brand we're very india first we make for indian medium to deep skin tone okay i don't want to get into verified plug over here because i said we would talk about food now we did my when i say me i mean me and my team did a lot of research watched a lot of interviews watched a lot of videos read a lot of articles about what are the things that kylie jenner eats and it's like in a sense that she actually even recommends we found a whole bunch of recipes a lot of it had things that i actually don't necessarily eat like bacon or pork for example i don't eat bacon or pork i also wanted to do things that are easily accessible to you and me which are a good mix of veg as well as non-veg items i did see your comments on one of my recent food videos where you said that okay we want more veg options too so i am listening to you and i'm trying my best so here's what we're gonna do today we're gonna start off with breakfast and we're gonna do multiple meals and snacks and take this all the way to dinner i'm excited i'm nervous send me good juju i'm super hungry i'm someone that is very very breakfast first kind of a person and we're gonna start off with a juice that she swears by so let's get into the kitchen let's take a quick second to appreciate the dermaco's one percent ha sunscreen i'm so happy to partner up with them to tell you that it comes in an 80 gram pack and it comes enriched with hyaluronic acid as well as vitamin e the consistency of this is a perfect gel cream blend super super lightweight so non sticky and it comes with power of SPF 50 PA++++ you heard that right it helps protect your skin against UVA and UVB rays while also reducing sun damage fine lines and wrinkles apply this all over your face neck and even body if you'd like and do not forget about that reapplication you know I absolutely love how the Dermaco has empowered over 10,000 students this year with their young scientists initiative and every time you buy from them they link your order to a child that they help educate with Bhumi so if you want to get your hands on this product, I'm going to leave a link in for you down below in the description section. And if you want to get 20% off, use the code to get 20% off on their website. The product is also available on Amazon, Nykaa, Flipkart and Purple. Now let's get back to the video. <laughs> our Kylie Jenner morning juice over here I think it might need some honey but I think let's take a taste test and decide what it really is like I read some versions where she also pours in a couple of other ingredients in almond milk and stuff which is a little bit more in the smoothie slash milkshake zone but this is the one that I thought was good for me to do in the morning so here we go Oh my god that is delicious it doesn't need any honey i think the amount of apples i put in i put in a whole apple it has sweetened it up so well i can get used to this this is great this is really 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 nice something you should know about me which is like a food based character flaw of sorts the minute i see something green i'm like a child i'm like 
I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like this. It's gonna taste disgusting, which is really not the way to be. It's just that as a child, and my mum also as a child, detested eating green things, and so I guess I wasn't really. Her and I are both a little bit like, ugh, green. She, of course, because of health issues and age, has taken to green things now. But maybe this is my cue to get into green things to drink and eat as well. I still have a little bit left, but I quickly want to tell you about the nashta part of it. Oh my god, so the cutest thing happened yesterday. Today in present day, I am filming on a Sunday. And you know, typically Sunday mornings are about Hima and Brun Pao. I was at a wedding last night and Jerry sent me these messages. And I was like, I can't have the Hima. Um, but however, when it comes to the nashta part of this video, I'm actually not eating any solid nashta because I'm hoping to give myself a rather bigger lunch. There are about 3-4 dishes on the list that are really really calling out to me. So I'm splitting them between lunch and dinner. We'll cook one meal, we'd, we'll order in one meal. I feel like that's a good balance to have. I'm gonna finish this and we're gonna do another drink in sometime. So we're not just jumping straight into lunch. Um, so I'm gonna finish this in peace, watch some TV, maybe some YouTube. Go subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet. You're right here, you'd me as well. Um, the goal for me in 2024. I know, call me delusional or whatever, but is to hit a million subscribers. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know how that's possible without you guys who watch my videos, subscribing, hitting that bell notification, telling your friends, family, nana, chacha, mommy, neighbor, kutta, everyone about my channel. So that's the hope, huh? It's a big one. But even if I come close, I'd be really happy, no? Like, what is that proverb that they say? Aim for the stars and then even if you kind of... I can't remember it. Wow. Shoot for the stars. So even if you fail, you at least land up out of the world. Something like that. Finishing this, watching some TV, coming back to you with another drink before we go into lunch. The day that I'm eating like Kylie Jenner for the day, I just posted my Skims haul, basically supporting the sister. I shopped a lot from Skims, well not a lot, I shopped a few good items from Skims uh, and I'm posting that haul literally today. So I was working for a little bit, got that thumbnail done and scheduled it for today. So clearly the video is live by the time this one goes, um, goes live. If you want to go watch that, I'll leave a link into that down below. Definitely, definitely do not miss but I'm here for the other drink and uh, this is quite self-explanatory literally holding it right here coconut water is apparently Kylie Jenner's favorite natural juice and it also is mine I love 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 coconut water if it was up to me I would have it every single day but I don't I have it about once every three to four days purely because it makes anyone and me to pee a lot I know TMI when I had my first ever adult UTI and I think it was November 2023 I was having it maybe twice a day and that's really good for the system if you ever do get a UTI apparently and it really helped me a lot at the time. I am gonna sit and have this and I always call for Nariel with the Copra inside so you will see a nice Tagra layer well you can't see it and I can't tilt it because there's water. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can tilt it towards you now. Yeah, there's a nice thick layer of uh, copra inside. I like to call for the copra ones or I also like to call sometimes for the, you know that, I'm salivating thinking of it. That patli perfect malai ones, I'm okay with both of them absolutely. I just don't like to call for nariyal pani or nariyal which is nothing. Like no copra or no malai. I need one of the two. Today I'm going to be having the copra inside as well which I'm assuming. Kylie Jenner also must be having but that's like question mark I don't know if I've read that anywhere but it's impossible for me to have the Nariyal Pani and then not have this that's really wasteful so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and have it lunch today is gonna be a little bit late I am gonna be cooking my cooking lunch or dinner I need to figure but lunch is gonna be late irrespective tell them what you just said to me that you're beautiful Oh. I haven't glammed at all today. I know Kylie Jenner Lovely would, glam. but like I'm Kylie Jenner diet, not glam today, I guess. No, but tell them what you said to me just now. So Kylie, I think I don't know whether I'm getting the pronunciation right or not. Kylie is 
in Tamil, a slang for lungi. So basically, he's been calling me lungi jana for the past huh? some time. Lungi jana. Lungi jana, 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 lungi jana. You smell nice. I do. Yeah. I use the same body wash I gave you. Ah. Uh -huh. That's why you smell like Elkoka mixed fruit juice. But that this new body wash I'm using is bomb. It's from Nivea. This is not sponsored at all. But they should put like a sticker on it that says don't drink it because it smells divine. And then I we opened it last night. I gave it to Jerry for his body wash and then I used it today for mine. It literally smells like a smoothie, no? Yeah, Elkoka mixed fruit juice. You mean that in a good way though? Like it genuinely smells that good, or do you mean like you didn't like? I it? don't want to smell like a mixed fruit juice. But you just complimented me, so I'm you happy. Can. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was fab. All right, so it is time for lunch. But I forgot to mention something that I am doing today in honor of following Miss Jenna's diet to the T. We have some lemon infused water over here. It's a slice of nimbu inside, and I want to tell you a little bit of a note about this. When I bought this house in 2018, I had gone through this phase of oh, the water in my house will always be slightly fancy, and it'll have nimbu in it, and this and that. If there's something you should know about me, it's that I keep this around me at all times, which I'm trying not to touch today. I've been trying to do more of this a couple of glasses of this the reason is because if you put slices of lemon inside your water if it sits for too long it starts making the water feel really taste really weird uh, very very sour and I don't like the stink that it generates after some time so if you are gonna go ahead and try this I would recommend you do this in glasses and switch up your glasses every time you feel like having water I do drink a lot of water in general that is not getting really like I'm not I'm not consuming it today um, and this tastes like you know mm, normal water you can taste just a little bit of the lime in it which really doesn't upset me in any format if you feel like that extra dose of sugar go ahead and throw some sugar also nimbu pani basically ban jayega um what are we doing for lunch now for lunch as you can see next to me i have some takeout i have some sushi over here next to me swiggy recommended this new place to me called miso the asian kitchen um, so I was debating between two options. One was sushis and dim sums, which I've ordered for over here. I'll also tell you what I ordered for and which ones. Uh, or a salad, but I'm actually cooking a salad tomorrow at home for a different video that I'm doing. So I said, okay, cool. Salad kal ho jayega. Sushis and dim sums aaj ho jayenge. And I was also working a lot. So I said, okay, an order in in the afternoon is easier. I will cook for dinner instead. I ordered a portion of eight Half of this is prawn dynamite, half of this is shrimp tempura. Also, the dim sums I ordered are prawn hargao, so it's a very seafoody meal. I don't fully understand the sauces they've sent because I'm seeing very little soy over here. I'm seeing more of gari, hot garlic sauce, there's some wasabi and some shezwan sauce. So I'm going to see if I have soy sauce. I mean, the soy sauce you use at home to cook is different from the ones that they serve. Only squeeze ka fark hota hai, taste me for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. Shall we do a little taste test? Because it's a new place. I've never eaten from here before. None of this was sponsored. The Swiggy guy accidentally delivered this in the flat right above mine. He read the flat number wrong. So I was checking my phone and I was like, why hasn't it? Like it said it got delivered five, seven minutes ago. Sometimes they do that when they reach the lobby, but lobby to up is not like 5-7 minutes. And uh, then when I called them, he said that it's been, he thought the flat number was Okay, we've got some soy sauce over here. Uh, okay. Always worried about spilling some dip sauce here and there. So I have these flat bowls kept here. If you've seen my IKEA haul, you know that I absolutely fell in love with this ceramic crockery set. I'll leave a link into my IKEA hauls playlist only down below. So you can go ahead and check that out. Okay, so we have a prawn tempura sushi over here. Slightly wet and nice. That was really nice. I have a little bit of a wound on the inside of my mouth. I bit myself the other day. In any case, I can't open my mouth too wide because I have a small mouth. Even more, it's a problem because I'm trying to take the whole sushi in and that little, I've cut myself basically. That little blister, not blister, that little cut wound, whatever you want to call it, is bugging me. Let's try the shrimp dynamites are one of my favorite forms of Asian food. God's gift to mankind. Really, really nice. 
Let's do a taste test of the prawn harga also. Try it with cheese one sauce. Maybe hot garlic. I'm like biting it off a little bit first to see if the shezwan sauce is too spicy. Mm. Yeah, it's a little spicy. I'm glad I did that. Let's try the hot garlic. Mmm, that's nice though. You will not be getting a taste test of me trying the wasabi. Wasabi is too much for me in most places. Also the curry. Now that I've taste tested all of this, I'm gonna dive in and eat while watching some content on TV. See you for an evening snack in some time. A few moments later. Hi, hello. It's a couple of hours later. Jerry and I are watching Hi. Killer Soup and I've uh, just kind of freshened up, changed up. There's also a little bit of a plan of the day switch up impromptu thing that has come up my chachu chachi who don't live in the neighborhood are coming around to the neighborhood and for whatever reason every time we've tried to invite them over for chai nashta meals whatever there was always a clash in schedule today they happened to call me and say hey we're in the neighborhood and we'd love to meet you and i was like yes i'm home please come my chachu's come but my chachi hasn't come so so I ordered in for some fresh snacks since they're coming over for like basically chai coffee. This is completely unrelated to the Kylie Jenner part of this video. But since I ordered in for some snacks, I thought we'd do a quick little mini grocery haul of sorts. It's not really grocery, it's a snack haul actually. Okay, so in case you're wondering where I ordered things from, I ordered things from Anna Purna. I swiggied the stuff over. They have also sent some nice chutney to go with the items that I'm about to show you. There's butter chakli, the makhanya ghatia. I love, love, love this dish so much, this snack so much. I ordered some hot, hot batata vada, some cheese banana chips, some spicy banana chips and some soya chips. I am a huge fan of Annapurna snacks in general. This is at Bali, very, very close to my mom's house. Between my mom's house and mine, I would say there are some snacks in the house, but I just wanted to go ahead and order some more. They have dinner plans after coming to my house. So I know I can't like give them like a heavy meal, heavy snack dinner, whatever. So that's where I'm at. Actually, the family, they're heading to my parents' place for dinner after mine. And they said, like my mom said as well, come if you can, it's an impromptu plan, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, no, I can't because I need to cook my own dinner. I'm doing this video challenge today. So maybe if I eat dinner earlier, I may go there and say hi after dinner, after I finish filming this video. I don't know. Let's see. If I wasn't filming this video today, then I'd probably pop over and go and join all of them for dinner at my mom's house. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead, stack up my stack up my stock up my pantry and uh, there's about half an hour 40 minutes before they arrive but i just want to keep things prepped up and ready to serve much 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 later hello if you see some random water drops on my face don't worry i'm not crying i just put a lot of eye drops because i feel like there's some kachra stuck in this eye and i obviously can't go into it post lasik and all of that so i am i've been putting a lot of eye drops in my eyes this evening we're down to making dinner and I told you I was going to be cooking for dinner. The vegetarians are going to love this option because I'm making a vegetarian, really delicious pasta. We're making Alfredo pasta today and what you need is really, really easy ingredients. I have some mushrooms. I have some boiled sweet corn. You can take any type of pasta you want. I've opted for penne. I also have macaroni in the house a lot of the times. But today we've opted for the penne. Just simple ingredients like cheese, grated, really helps keep everything really cheesy, yummy butter milk things that you will have in the house essentially this process takes barely eight to ten minutes i'm also gonna make garlic bread to go with it on the side you saw me make garlic bread super super easily in the personal chef episode one video where i was personal chef to my nephew and niece for a day so i'm not gonna sit and show you that again but i will go ahead and show you how i like to make my cheesy pasta
this actually is one of the first recipes I ever, ever, ever learned how to make. I think it was my mommy who taught me how to make pasta, Bismillah, and I love this dish. Mm. I typically make this in a lot of cheese sauce. I just decided to do it in a way that I guess Kylie would because we're doing her diet obviously today, but it's still so delicious. It has so much flavor. I have the garlic bread over here, heavy on the garlic today um, to go with it. As a pairing, it just works. In case you're wondering how I do like a cheese sauce, cheese sauce, just add more cheese, more butter and more milk than you saw me use today. And it'll just become richer and more saucy and almost like a gravy. Typically, especially when I make it for the kids, my nephew and niece, that's how I make it. to the end of today's video hopefully you found this video fun or interesting to watch i want to try and do a couple of other more celebrity diets and see how that might pan out today was a stay at home all day kind of a day so is tomorrow in fact tomorrow there is a public holiday all over the country i believe i want to try and do these on a day when i'm stepping out and about so i can really make it more interesting um if you have suggestions feedback ideas you know i'm always reading liking adding and responding to each and every one of you so keep those comments coming talk to me i really 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 appreciate it every single time somebody comes and says anything to me in the comments that could be constructive criticism that could be appreciation that could be a neutral comment anything and everything is welcome because it helps me do better i love you so 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 much i am gonna go rest my eyes because as you know i'm feeling a little bit heavy on the eyes this evening i mentioned the eye drops thing earlier and i'm gonna see you in the next video i love you guys bye